For this video, we're going to look at a voltage again. This time, we're focused on the voltage across this one kilo ohm resistor right here. That's part of a NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using the 2N2222. And so if you're using a NPN bipolar junction that starts with 2N, it's probably the same pin layout. Uh, but in any case, any NPN bipolar junction transistor should work. Pin layout may be different though. But in any case, we set the voltage across the resistor with a Zener diode in this circuit. So we need some current to go through the Zener diode to build up that voltage. So I got a 10 kilo ohm resistor there to give it a current path. That'll build up about 5.6 volts. And then the base two emitter is gonna drop about 0.6 volts. And this is approximate. So we're gonna have a pretty close to exactly five volts across the resistor. Now, that just sets the voltage over there. The rest of this is in series, so collector, to emitter and then the resistor so the load and all that is in series whatever currents going through here will be the same amount of current going through there that just sets the voltage this sets the current so with a uh, 5 volts 1 kilo ohm resistor that's a uh, 5 divided by a thousand you get uh, 0 0.005 or 5 milliamps right there going through all that and uh, so here you can see the Zener diode to the uh, negative side there, the anode side without stripe, black stripe to that jumper, and then a 10 kilo ohm resistor to the positive supply right there. We'll zoom in a little bit more. You can see the transistor. So there's the orange jumper. From there it goes to the middle pin, the base, and then the uh, bottom pin there, the left pin if you're looking at the flat side, a one kilo ohm resistor going to the negative rail. And then we have three LEDs in series right now for the load. So the load is really not that important. As long as you have enough voltage to power it, the uh, current is set by this resistor. So we're going to measure the current with no LEDs, one LED, two LEDs, or three LEDs right there. They're in series. I can move this jumper and just skip as many as I want. So now we zoom back, we can see the power supply there. You can see we got that 5 milliamps that I mentioned before, or 0 0.005 amps. And that's the voltage across the resistor, 5 volts, divided by 1,000. The LEDs may look a little bit brighter. I had to lower the lights so the camera could adjust when the white paper is on there. I have to make the camera so it sees things brighter. So right now it's uh, dimmed a little. The LEDs look a little brighter. But in uh, any case, I don't have the oscilloscope hooked up yet. Here's the uh, alligator clips. I'm going to put the uh, black alligator clip with the blue jumper to the negative side of the supply right there. And then the red alligator clip right there to the other side of the resistor, and uh, which is also where the emitter is. And there you can see that we have 5 volts right there, each square is one volt so it's a little bit shy right there but uh pretty close to five volts so this won't be exact now we're going to uh while we're still looking at the current of the power supply we're going to go past one of the leds right there and again it might go on four but it's really borderline four five right there the other thing is right there you can see even though one led is out we're not powering it we still have five volts across that resistor and uh, the current is the same. Now we'll bypass another LED. We're only powering one. Again, we are at five volts there. Now we're gonna go directly to the collector of the transistor. And there you can see again, it's showing five. I think when the transistor warms up, maybe just a spec more current flows through enough to bump it up to five. But in case, you get the point. We got 12 volts there. If we had uh, less LEDs, we could lower the voltage, but we're at about our limit. If we had more LEDs, we would have to raise the voltage, but we would get the same result. So we don't want so much voltage that we overpower things, overheat them, but we don't want too little voltage either. And uh, now that we zoomed in, you can see what I did. Originally, we were up to here with those LEDs, same voltage across the resistor, thus the same current, skipping one, skipping the other, and then skipping them all, going directly to the collector. So in any case, I covered all these topics in more detail before. I don't think we ever looked at the voltage though across the uh, current setting resistor. You do need the current going through the load. Right now we're looking at the current going through the 10 kilo ohm resistor. And then 
the uh, resistor there. It's a voltage divider right now. And uh, to make it an actual uh, current source circuit, we need the current going through the uh, collector as well to uh, really build up that voltage. This is just a weak signal. If we try to put that through the resistor by itself, then it drops the voltage. But in uh, any case, that's uh, it. Hopefully it all made sense. And I'll post some other videos. Make sure you check them out. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put links down in the description. Uh, all the links help if you check out any of them. I'll see you in the next video.